Hi, I'm John Barclay here with a tech tip for you. Uh, in the AC world, sometimes we get a little bit skewed because we end up with tunnel vision all too often. You know how it is, you're in that bay, you're in a hurry. Some of us really, really enjoy AC work. I've watched technicians for years and years. As soon as a complaint comes in that says anything with AC, first thing they're doing is they're running to get gauges on that vehicle. Uh, all too often, there are better options. Now, a lot of vehicles out there will allow us to plug a scan tool in, look at the pressures from sitting in the seat behind the steering wheel. And yet, still, lots of technicians, they wheel the machine over, throw the gauges on, and to no avail, they, they see pressure in the system. Then it leaves them sometimes spinning in circles as to why the system's not engaging. So let's talk about one that comes in with a little bit of a mystery because this is a really neat one. It's very thought provoking. Now, Volkswagen on some of their models, and this has gone on for some time, we're not too sure how late it goes because we're not out braking vehicles every single day. However, take a Volkswagen, comes in the door, AC is inoperative. No compressor engagement at all. Now, technician may hook up gauges, sees that there's adequate pressure there, so there'd be no reason for AC not to engage. So, technician starts looking through at the scan tool and sees only one DTC in the entire vehicle. The AC system doesn't have any DTCs at all. Just one steering angle sensor code. Now I know, you're sitting there saying to yourself, self, why would we even want to think about a steering angle sensor in regards to AC? Well, when we think about steering angle sensors and the input that we have from them, it can really tell you in part what that driver's doing. Now, let's think about this big picture, okay? If we have little to no input, what kind of road are we generally on? Nice straight highway. So if you've got climate controlled, you find a nice happy temperature, we're gonna go with 70 for a nice round number. So you said it at 70 degrees, you're cruising down the road, you're a happy person. Now, all of a sudden you decide you're gonna take a back road, it's twisty, it's windy, it's almost as if you're trying to recreate the slalom. Now let's face it, if we're out on the track running the slalom, we're going to get a little bit excited, hopefully, if we're driving the right product, right? If we're driving the wrong product, maybe we're overly excited. I don't know. It could get a little hairy. However, what happens is, is as we start doing that, that added input and that speed of that input on that steering wheel, we're going to have side G-forces that are going to come into play, things of that nature. That, on the human body, will usually get you a little bit worked up. So what one of the engineers did in the background, and they don't show it to you and you don't generally find this in publication anywhere. That's the big part. So in the background, you've got it set for 70. That's what you see on your display. The display doesn't change. But when that higher amount of input is seen by the controller, it actually delivers two degrees Fahrenheit lower. Now this is the information we have. This is really, really powerful. Because think about it. You're driving your vehicle, you're cruising down the road, nice and happy, you've got a happy temperature, but all of a sudden you decide you're a little bit more aggressive on a different road. Rather than reaching over to turn your AC down a little bit so that you're a little cooler, you're able to keep your hands on that steering wheel where they belong it does it for you in the background, takes care of you. It's a really, really neat concept. However, it's also a critical input to the AC system. So if you have a steering angle fault code, guess what is disabled entirely? Your AC. Very, very odd situation like that. Uh, there's a potential we could have some other manufacturers out there doing other similar type things. And there are other sensors out there that will cause disabled conditions. 
So even though it doesn't always make sense to you as to why that fault code could be a problem, don't automatically discount it thinking that it has nothing to do with it. A steering angle sensor fixed that vehicle because of this condition. That's all the vehicle needed. Now I know you're sitting there thinking to yourself, why does it need to be this complicated? Hopefully me explaining those driving characteristics and what our bodies do kind of explains that. Sort of like sun load, things of that nature when we're talking about light on the different sides of the vehicle. Again, if we've got good climate control systems where we're looking at the sunlight coming in on each side of the vehicle, again, we're going to go ahead and compensate for sun load on a lot of vehicles out there as well. So before we start guessing blend doors and things of that nature, let's look at all the sensors, let's look at all the data. Let's make sure we look at all the DTCs in all modules, not just concentrate on the AC system itself, but everything on the vehicle. Give it that once over, you won't regret it. You never do when you do your homework and cover all the bases. I'm John Barclay. We'll see you soon. Thank you.